tripod. God, this thing is flooded. They got the gates closed. The river's about a quarter mile down. So this thing is up. This is all just grass here. I think they're gonna be up feeding on worms. I guarantee we will not get skunk tonight. I will bet my paycheck on it. First one on the board. Bob, you're on one? I ain't even got that other fish on the stringer. That's a nice one though. Heck yeah. Right through the lip. What happened? Did it? Yeah. <laughs> well, Bob's just got away, but that's okay. Guarantee we're gonna get more. Another one on the board. Ow! He just slapped me right in the face. Nice, buddy. Very nice. Got him. Good job. Number four on the board. Yep. You gotta love the circle hooks. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Four pounds? Yep. Man, I got one on. Got him. Good, good. I was trying to get that other one on the stringer and got a bite. Oh, I was pecking the hook out about one. Just got those fish on the stringer and I just hooked into another one. They are biting like crazy. Uh, no, here, Bob. Take this. Got one. I literally just throw these, threw these two out and I got bites immediately. Another one on the board. Cow, man, it's getting heavy. Got him. Yep. I have lost count. I don't even know how many we got. Oh, God. That is getting heavy. So when I put them on the stringer, I put it through the bottom of the lip instead of the gill. That way they stay alive and they don't die. That way they're fresher while I'm fishing. I learned that from my Uncle Bob. You don't have to make catfishing complicated. There's a lot of people that use these dough baits and all this concoctions. I'm literally just using earthworms, night crawlers, with a circle hook and a little weight on the bottom. And they love it. about like the rest of them. Got another one. Probably help if I open my bale. Bites on that one. Yep. Got him. Holy cow. Dude, throw out in that area. You ain't gonna bother me none. Woo! Came flying out of that water. Another one on the board. My God, they just keep biting and biting and biting.
Nice. Nice, buddy. Just admiring a little snake that swam all the way from over here and it's up by all my fish now. I think it's wanting to eat them. I've caught raccoons trying to eat my fish off the stringer, snakes, turtles. Bob's on one now. They're all nice ones, man. The only thing that this night's missing is a fire. Me and my uncle made the mistake one night uh, making a fire on concrete. <laughs> and needless to say, that thing blew up. There was logs up probably 15 foot in the air. Concrete is not a good place to set a fire on. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Another one on the board. Oh my gosh. Can't even get this thing on the stringer and already getting more bites. Another one on the board. I never get tired of saying that. These are the nights you remember. Bop fell. <laughs> Barely had that hook. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You pulled the bob. Oh man. Well, he slipped out of my hands and he's gone. Now that's what I call a good night. All right, it's about 1.30 in the morning. I gotta get home and clean these fish. It's gonna be a late night. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out my YouTube channel. I got a bunch of camping, fishing, hunting videos. If you like that type of thing, make sure you click subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, you guys take care and we'll see you next time at JP Outdoors.